Hey everybody, how y'all doing? This is Carla Wynix with today's inspiration. And as always, I'm here to encourage you and to remind you that you can live every day on purpose. Well, I'm, I'm really, truly happy to be here. And I just want to share uh, an experience that I had recently. Actually, we had, my husband and I, um, yesterday, he needed to go to the emergency room. His doctor advised that he goes to the emergency room. And I was at work when I got the message. And I just jumped up. I said, what? And I made it home and, you know, rushed home and rushed him to the hospital. Now, hold your horses. He's okay. He's doing good. Thank God he's okay. Uh, but I came running in and it was amazing because all day I had been feeling very weak. Just very tired and um, back hurting, legs hurting, everything hurting. And, and just I really couldn't move fast and was out of breath and all of that. But when he needed me, I, you know, although I didn't physically, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. But I said, you have to pull yourself together because you have to be there for him. You have to see about him. He would do the same for me. Absolutely. Without a doubt. And it's amazing how you can gather the strength that you need when you need it. And I'm just grateful that God did allow me. It was, it was difficult. At one point, I, I wondered if when we got to the, you know, the hospital, would they think I was the patient and not him? But um, he's good. He's okay. He, he just needs some rest and, and um, he, he's in some pain. But that's going to heal over time as long as he, you know, take care and rest but um that's love that's what i wanted to get to is love and it was it was really difficult while we were in the emergency room uh to see him laying down on the gurney on the bed that was just very difficult because that's not my husband you know he's always up and strong and in fact we were fussing at the hospital because he wouldn't allow me to put him in a wheelchair because he needed not to put um, pressure. He needed not to be walking. And but he's like, I'm not getting in no wheelchair. And I'm like, yeah, you need to get in a wheelchair. And no, but he, he didn't do it. Um, but at one point they um, they gave him a shot. He had to get in the bed and he couldn't. You know, he there was no two ways about it. And uh, but that was difficult. To see, but I thank God that He's okay. We've been married 32 years. It'll be 33 years in October, in a few months. And I've known Him basically, it seems, all my life. Um, I was 17 years old when we started dating, so I've I've known Him since then. And I'm, I mean, I'm 53 years old now, and so to see Him disabled for a moment that was hard. That was hard, but God, but God. And you know, I'm his help me. If I had to carry him on my back, I would have done that. If I had to, whatever I needed to do, I would have done that for him. I, I just, you know, huh, that's my that's my baby. That's my baby. And I, I guess my encouragement is that if you have a spouse, love them. Love them. You know, there's too, too many spouses, too many marriages, too many couples that are fighting and bittering in, and they are not really, they don't really love each other. Some are in marriages for different reasons, not just for love, some, some just because they want to be married, you know, but the person, hopefully God, you marry the person that God sends you. Hopefully you don't just get married because you want, you, you know, you, 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 that you're infatuated with a person or because you want the wedding or because you want to say this is your husband or because you want to say this is your wife. He or she might not be the person for you. Make sure that you know that you know that you know that that's your person because there's more to marriage than just sex. There's more to marriage than just laughing and having fun. There's something in the vows that we say for better, for poor, uh, for, I mean, for, uh, for, for worse or for better. Uh, for rich or for poor. Those things happen. What you going to do if you don't have a solid love when the sickness come? Or when the poor times come? 
or when times are really hard. What are you going to do then? You need something solid to stand on and good looks are not going to do it. A fine body isn't going to do it. A good a, a roll in the hay, as they say, is not going to do it. You need to be coupled with the person that's for you. Your soul mate. I really believe in that. I really believe in that because, you know, this is just flesh. He loves me. He loves my flesh too, but he loves me. I love him. I mean, there's going to come a time where I might have to push him in a wheelchair. Will I love him less? There certainly may come a time where he have to push me in a wheelchair. Will he love me less? You know, what if, God forbid, I get breast cancer and lose my breasts? Am I less of a woman? Will he stop loving me? I don't think so. What if, you know, as being a man, he's he, he changes? He's still my husband, no matter what. And that's what I love, and that's who I love. I don't love him for what he does and what he, you know, <laughs> what he can give. I love him for who he is. That's true love. That's real love. And I just want to encourage you to love that way. And if you have that kind of love, be grateful. Don't don't take for granted that man. Don't take for granted that woman. Love them unconditionally. Okay, you may get angry sometimes. They may disappoint you. I, in fact, I think they will. I think it's safe to say that they will. You know why? Because they're human beings. And we do that. But love them anyway. Love them like Christ loves us. Like he loved the church. He loves us unconditionally. Love your spouse the same way. Okay, God bless you. Remember, love that man, love that woman. Have a great day. This is Carla Y. Nix with today's inspiration.